Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm going to go and watch Clitheroe as they take on Accrington Stanley away from home in a pre-season friendly, which can only mean there's only one person joining us on the channel today. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wham Stadium to watch Clitheroe as they take on Accrington in a pre-season friendly and I'm joined by Jack, how are you? I'm not bad mate, yeah, the, the weather seems to be holding off so yeah, we're pretty happy. Yeah, I uh, was absolutely chucking it down all day so I'm hoping it stays dry for the football but this should be an exciting game today um, against what should be Accrington Stanley's first team so a very tough test for the, for the lads. Yeah, we've said this, haven't we, on the way, we've been talking about it, and we've said we've had the likes of Hurst Green and things like that, and the, the, we had the Blackburn Youth the other night, the 21s, and they put up a bit of a challenge, they played some really good football, but they lack the physicality, and a, cut, a bit of cutting edge in the final third, so I think these today obviously give them a completely different challenge, so a lot to learn from, um, but it'll be good for them. And uh, should get to see Bailey Sloan up against his old team as well. Yeah, we're good to see Bales back. Um, not, obviously, we've not seen him since he left to go to Accrington, um, but he was well worth it. In the, I mean, he was an excellent player in the time we had him and he deserved his move. But it'll be good to see him back and have a chat with him and see how he's getting on. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And what are you thinking today? Because obviously it's a League 2 side against a Northern Premier League side. There's a fair distance between them, but I think we should, we should give them a good game. I'm going to go 3 1 Accrington. I think I think we'll get a goal. I think we've got some really good talent in the squad at the minute that are really trying to prove the point and stake a claim on a position before the start of the season. Um, but I think they're, I mean, they're going to be a big challenge. There's a big gap between the teams, and I think these will look to send the fans home happy on a on a home uh, friendly towards the end of pre season. So. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can definitely get a goal, but I'm going to go one better. I think we could actually get a draw from this, maybe one one. But we'll have to wait and see. Should be a great day, uh, nonetheless. So, and yeah, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Come on, Clitheroe. There he is. Just a boy walking. Let Ross do it. Do it, man! 
Come on, lads, it's pre season. Oof. Thought that was going to be 1 0, but just wide of the post there. Lucky escape for Clitheroe. Oh! Jesus, Reese! Reese Webb Foster, what an effort. Ten minutes in here, other than the one big Akron from Stanley Chance near the start of the game, that was just, just wide. Clitheroe, honestly, we've had the better of the game here. Go on. Go on! One nil Clitheroe, Sefton Gonzalez capitalises from a mistake, cross came in, keeper didn't deal with it and then yeah drops the ball, Sefton taps in, can't believe it, Clitheroe one nil up against Accrington Stanley. I have absolutely no idea what's gone on there and or how it stayed out, but yeah. Go on, Reese. Oh. <laughs> Half time. Atkins to Stanley Mill for the row one. Okay, so half time here at the Wham Stadium and it's currently Accrington Stanley nil, Clitheroe 1. That's a complete shock, was not expecting that at all, but yes, Clitheroe have been brilliant so far. What do you make what have you made of it, Jack? I think just that. I think well, we've taken our chances when they've been there. I mean, we've caught them on the break a few times and really put them in sticky, some sticky positions. Um, their keeper's got away with a few. I mean, he nearly picked the ball at one point. Probably should have been a penalty. We should have had a couple more penalties at times. They've been um, at the back. They've been a bit reckless. Um, but I think there was, a, there was a period sort of middle of the half towards the end where they had us penned in quite a lot. But we stood our ground. We held our shape really well. And we saw it off. And then we've caught them on the break. Um, the keeper came and flapped at the cross for the goal. And Sefton's tied a little finish to, to, to sort of get behind it and tuck it in um, so yeah good half um, some positives to take from it but we've still got 45 minutes to go yet so we'll have to see if they can really come and make a reply or not yeah I mean that's what I've been most impressed by is our sort of maturity in this game we're playing against a league two side don't forget and we've we've stood our ground defended really well they've put us under a lot of pressure they've dominated the ball at times as you'd expect and they've had, you know, they've had they've had some good chances themselves. Tom has been, uh, you know, very good in that first half. Been, been first two to most of their chances. Um, but you know, we've really held our own defensively, and we've looked really strong going forward as well. Reese Webb Foster has been an absolute live wire up front, and yeah. To be honest, if things had gone away, we could have been about two or three goals up in that first half. So yeah, very, very positive so far. Yeah, I think like you're saying about Reese, and I think with Domain on, on the left, it's been really, we've looked like we've had more firepower. We used to just sit there and you, you come to Sefton and you think, well, who else is there? And now he's got Reese on one side of him. He's got Domain on the left. They're getting wide. They're overlapping and they've been causing them trouble. And I think, especially that centre half, there's a, a little tussle about five minutes in in the box. And I think Sefton's got in the big centre half's head, and he seems to be having quite a good battle with him. And then the two out wide are just causing trouble with the fullback. So positive, and we're looking a lot more attacking, yeah. Back and away for the second half. Moved into the stand there because looks like it's going to tip it down with the rain. One all now. It has been coming to be fair. Actually, did been putting the pressure on since the start of the second half. But yeah, no stopping that. Absolute rocket of an effort. I thought it was going to rebound 
out of the, uh, the post but bounced it in. Tomo could not do anything about that yet. I think he's never the wrong. Go on. Hit it. Oh. Go on. Tell you what, Clither have reacted really well to the equaliser here. Still pushing on forward in search of goals in this one. Ooh. 15 minutes to go here, and to be honest, that's probably the first real chance of this half, other than the uh, other than the Aki goal. It's been pretty quiet. one up you know deep free kick floated into the uh, far post headed in to be fair Tomo could have done a bit better with that could have maybe held it but yeah made its way in and accurate. go on go on Darren oh. <laughs> is still pushing despite being 2-1 down Third goal is number two, Bailey Sloan. 3-1 now to Accrington Stanley. Really simple header from the corner. And of course as well had to be Bailey Sloan, the ex Clitheroe man who gets himself on the score sheet. Over a corner about a minute to go. Oh! Lee Q heads it just wide. There we have it, full time, Atkinson Stanley 3, Clitheroe 1. Thank you very much once again, and if you are support today, we we'll hope to see you at the next home game. Uh, Pre-season friendly against Chesterfield next Saturday. And of course, we hope to see you the following Saturday, the 29th of July, before we kick off the season. With our first home game of the season against Newport County on Saturday, the 5th of August. So, Bailey, a great run out today for both sides. What did you make of the game? Yeah, it was a good game. Good for both sides. Everyone's just getting the fitness in. So, good competition. Good day, yeah. And um, what did it feel like to play against your former team in Clitheroe? Getting on the score sheet as well. Yeah. You must be proud. Yeah, yeah, it was good to be fair. I got a good clap off the Clitheroe fans, I think, when they scored. So, all good, yeah, yeah, good game. And um, how do you feel you've improved as a player since joining Accrington in September? Yeah, it's more, it's more the pace of the game. That's what changes. Everything's a lot more quicker, so you've got to try and play off one, play off two. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I've developed that a lot better. So, yeah. And finally, a huge season coming up for Stanley in League Two. What are the goals for both the team and yourself personally? Yeah, so my goal is to try and get in the team and play. That's obviously the main goal. And then Accrington's team is to just try and get as high up in the table as possible. We should do well this year. We've got a really good team, so, yeah. Okay, so full time here at the Wham Stadium and it's finished. Accrington Stanley 3, Clitheroe 1. A great run out today, but in the end I think fitness just told. Jack, what did you make of it? Well, firstly I'm going to see you say on tape that I was right about the prediction. 3-1 um, to Accrington. It's a completely different second half. First half, it, it was a team that's played together for a year and a half. They gelled really well. And you could see that in the play. They were counter-attacking really well. Um, they were always back in their shape when they're off the ball. But second half, there's a lot of loose passes. Um, some of the new lads coming in. Do you know I mean, not, do you not always have a great game, especially against a, a tough opponent like they have today. Um, second half, I just thought, yeah, they just they weren't as gelled as, as the first half team were. Um, obviously, there weren't a full team change as we've seen in pre-season so far. But there was a good few substitutions made. Um, but yeah, they just didn't gel very well together at times and were making silly mistakes and things like that. And Accrington's quality show, like shone through by the end and they, they got themselves back in the game and they took up, well, what would be three points usually on a normal match day. Yeah. yeah, it was... I don't think you can fault Clitheroe's effort, to be honest. I think even when we were 3-1 down, we are still 
when we had the opportunity of trying to get forward and trying to attack. So I, I don't think there's any complaints from that point of view. And obviously it's, it was a huge, huge test against League Two opposition, professional team, you know. And yeah, like I said, I think the fitness just sort of showed through in the end once they started to bring substitutes on, you know, they had fresh legs. But yeah, I don't I don't think you can fault the effort today at all. No, I think like we, I mean, we've just spoke to Bailey. Um, obviously the lad who used to play at Clover with us, Bailey Sloan, and now he's, he's here and you can see why. And he was saying it's, it's, it's a different pace of the game when you come somewhere like this and it's a lot more high intensity and you can slightly say the fitness shone through by the end there were some lads who were having do you mean absolutely run off their feet and things like that and they got the best of us by the end but yeah it was a big test and they'll hopefully learn a lot from it but it's always a positive to get games like this you don't want to sit there every week in pre-season and be playing teams five leagues below you or something like that or whatever because you're not going to learn anything that's the main thing you don't w- you don't win anything for winning every game in pre-season so obviously you want to score some goals and get confidence up but you've got to learn as well so yeah it's a good test um and now they'll look forward to a few more young sides with Blackpool and Fleetwood, young lads coming Friday, Saturday. Yeah, and look, I think we made a really good account of ourselves as well. It can can leave this game with their heads held high and, you know, kick on to the rest of pre-season. Hopefully it's a, it's a good season to come. But yeah, really thoroughly enjoyable afternoon. Um, and yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Leave a like especially as well because Jack got his prediction right. <laughs> I'll give you that, I'll give you that. We're going to have to get a tally going for the season, aren't we? See who gets the most right. So yeah, no, yeah. Good, good start to the season, getting pre-season predictions right because they definitely don't matter. But you know, we'll take them. You'll take it. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.